you are watching edc english literature i am ardhan dude now we are going to discuss william shakespeare's popular tragic protagonist hamlet as a renesa man apart from the emotional complexity of hamlet's personality william shakespeare's this typical hero is sometimes seen as a symbol of the renesa man and the play as a symbol of the impact of renesa on european culture in fact his complexity is itself a byproduct of renesa but first what is renesa when the roman empire collapsed western europe entered a stage of barbarism and social regression from the 11th to the 15th century europe began to claw its way back to civilization inch by inch but for all that time uh, nothing was achieved nearly uh, no such grand and developed as that of roman civilization were done uh, during this period known as the middle ages you all know it generally tells about some dark pages of our history that no such classical civilization was restored the ultimate human development and the succeeding age that tried their best with the hope that it will make a previous development rebuilt but it never such improvement achieved on account renesa means revert the birth of learning the revert of learning it applies to the time roughly in the 16th century when it was slowly realized that there was knowledge to be acquired that the ancient authorities had not always known all there was a no and that it was possible for humanity to advance anew thus galileo found proof as a result of observation especially with the newly invented telescope and geometry and that the world was round and that it revolved around sun whereas classical learning had speculated that the earth was flat and that the sun revolved around it so galileo challenged that as a result galileo was prosecuted for maintaining his theories but the tide of that sort of new learning never stopped and that is renesa the renesa was a mixed blessing in terms of its impact on human society and human thought it freed humanity of many artificial barriers of learning scientific development it allowed people to think and rethink the exploration the experimentation the questioning and the new and fresh inquiries it was all sort of positive thinking how about there was another side you know human beings had lived with the belief that world was flat and with a great many other beliefs for the simply hundreds and even thousands of years so the old the pre-renaissance patterns of thought may not have been uh, obliterated but it was safe and secure when people start to think the conclusion they reach cannot be guaranteed but uh, there is certain kind of uncomfortability or insecurity but man for the greater aspiration of knowing the unknown and the danger the risks the insecurity all those things they overshadowed they overcome for one reward that is learn people who have spent all their lives believing in the old learning and suddenly find that all they have believed and all those believing things is a lie might well react adversely to the shock like a man who has spent all his life in prison and is suddenly released and told to make his way in the outside world it is as difficult as that of a newborn baby in this respect hamlet can be seen as a symbol of renaissance man you know one on the one hand the play is full of the tremendous sense of potential beauty and wonder of man on the other on the other hand 
there is a sense of vast fear and despair because like Renaissance a man Hamlet has been forsaken by everything on which he used to rely and has to start anew in everything he thinks and does this is the risk implicit in the Renaissance time the old barriers are thrown down but they could not stop people from hurting themselves as well as impeding their advance this view uh, does point out a basic truth about the play that is Hamlet sudden realizes that he lives in a world the perplexities of which he has never realized before but remember that a critic's job is to understand Hamlet and a theory evolving a complex historical analogy may only be partially helpful in this understanding so so many of the critics have tried to understand Hamlet from the Renaissance point of view the Renaissance point of view of Hamlet is like that of a man who had been prisoned imprisoned in his old beliefs and thoughts and suddenly he comes out with near reality newer understanding of his life and the humanity and the basic parameters of human bondage or like that of human fitness the hamlet was itself a renaissance man imprisoned in his thought and willing to have a newer exercise of understanding and within this oscillation and vacillation hamlet remained indecisive so isn't it hamlet a renaissance man I think you have your own choices and always give me feedback on your understanding as well as on your own understanding of this particular topic and if you have any question just ask me I will try my best to give some answer to you like share comment and obviously subscribe to my channel bye bye